Hello, hello, konnichiwa. This is Itsuna, and we're back with new Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony Chapter 2 Investigation, or I guess you could say Deadly Life. Um, and we just finished the investigation, so now it is time to head to the trial grounds once again. So yeah, last episode we got to talk to Maki, didn't learn too much, but you know, that's, that's our Maki. Um, so yeah, let's head all the way back. Hey, you are, Kaito. Where, what are you doing over here? Don't worry. You can do it. I believe in you. Now, let's go to the Shrine of Judgment. Okay, can we go inside here? I shall to the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. Okay. Fine, we'll go over there. Okay, let's see, yeah. I'm guessing Shuichi won't let us go anywhere. I could just skip to the end of the... Or, like, by the Shrine of Judgment, but... I don't know. I just feel like it's better to walk all the way over. <laughs> all the way across the school. Can we go to the bathroom? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. Hey, Kaito. Don't worry, you can do it. I believe in you. Now, let's go to the Shrine of Judgment. Do you say the same thing again? <laughs> yep. Okay, all the way down here. Just checking one more time. Yeah. Oh, hey there, Monokuma. Uh, I missed you. Is everyone ready? <laughs> Not like we have choice, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are quick to understand. It says so Monokuma has you trained. We got nothing to worry about, right assholes? We'll figure out the culprit, <laughs> won't we? Of course we don't need to worry. The top suspect is super obvious this time. Right, Himiko? Oh, Himiko, no. How dare you bully Himiko, you degenerate. You want me to Aikido chop your head off, huh? That's not even Aikido anymore, is it? This matter will be discussed in due time. You should save your arguments until then. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's put an end to this at the class trial. Yeah, you're right. Oh. Uh, we don't even have Kaede. <laughs> this is so... Uh, okay. Uh, let's start by talking to the monitor. I can't turn back. I have to keep pressing forward. Okay. Then Smoogie. Himiko's so suspicious. She's gotta be a red herring, right? But I don't even know where to start unraveling the truth. Ah, uh, I should have played more point and click adventure games. Uh, well, don't worry, we're doing one now. Do you say anything else? Himiko's so suspicious. She's gotta be a red herring, yep. Kokichi! <laughs> You're looking yeah. chipper as ever. This case will be so easy, especially with how obvious the top sus- Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to skip that. One second, um, okay. You have transcript. Right, Hibiko? Oh. I hear males pick on girls they like to get their attention, which means Kokichi must like Hibiko. <laughs> yep. Huh? How do you know? <laughs> Actually, why don't we focus on the class trial and save that conversation for later? <laughs> this is turning out to be not so boring after all. You little... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like Kokichi might actually, like... Um, in some ways have a crush on Himiko. It's random. It's very random. But, like, in two trials, he suspected her a lot. But also, um... 
like whenever someone mentions it, which it happens like twice in the game, <laughs> over more than twice, it happens multiple times where either he says that, oh, I like you, Himiko, or I love you, Himiko, or someone else says, oh, Kakichi must like hi uh, Himiko because he bullies her. <laughs> But then, like, Kokichi never drags it on to make it seem obvious, like, oh, yeah, I totally love her, and, like, he doesn't make it seem like a lie, which means it might be the truth, or, I don't know, that's just another, like, <laughs> weird theory going along with that. Uh, do you say anything else, Kokichi? Yes. This case will be so easy. Yeah. Yeah, like, he just brushes it off, um, like it's nothing, so. Gonta, are you okay? <laughs> Gonta, not want to suspect friends. Oh. Uh, okay. Let's go with Angie. <laughs> yeah, we have nothing to worry about. Uh, is that so? Atua sees all. His divine deductions will solve this mystery right away. Uh, well, um... Uh, let's hope so, but I don't think that's how it worked out. Uh, okay, Mew. What? Hey, Detective jo <laughs> You've pinpointed a possible culprit, right? <laughs> oh my god, that has to be one of the best insults. I love Mew's, like, insults. I, I shouldn't say this, but I really like the, like creative insults that Miu has for each of the characters. Especially the ones that have to do with like detectives and Shuichi in particular. They just go so well. Oh my god, okay. That caught me off guard. Shuichi, before we head over there, let me give you some advice. Here at a sidekick. If you want to give up, wait until after you've done everything you possibly can. Aww. Wait, no, that's still not good. Okay, I won't forgive you if you give up. You got it? Mm. Yeah, I got it, Kaido. Oh, He's right. I can't give up. I made a promise to Kaede. Oh, My heart. Oh, Yeah, Kaido, Kaido and Shuichi's relationship is great. Okay. Kyo, why are all of you guys, like, all clustered together? Like, the people on the left are more, like, separated and giving each other some room. All of you guys are all just, like, right next to each other. Okay, let's start with Kyo. Nah. This murder was also triggered by Monokuma's motive, was it not? Which means there's a reason the culprit was desperate to live, yes? And Ryoma, who became the victim, had no reason to live, correct? What are you implying? To kill because you have a reason to live, to die because you have no reason to live. Which, I wonder, is correct. You're thinking too hard about it. Living things just gotta live. Anyway, no matter what happens to us, we gotta live. Yeah, you don't really need a reason to live. That's just the icing on the cake. A reason to live. Oh, yep, yeah, that's the whole kind of... Um... Whole... I don't know how you'd say, like... The whole theme of this chapter is a reason to live, and I feel like Kyo <laughs> almost like on the dot um, explained the relationship between the culprit and the victim this chapter. I also like the fact that Kokichi was able to like add something to the conversation without it being like messing around and stuff. Like it was an actual nice thing addition to the conversation, so that was cool. Yeah, Kyo, Kyo figures out a lot of things, huh? He's pretty smart. Next, we got Maki. Sorry, but I don't know anything. If you think a child caregiver can help solve a murder case, then we're all in trouble. <laughs> uh, well, a child caregiver can, but an assassin could. Kirimi. This matter will be discussed in due time. We should save our arguments until then. Yeah, Kirimi's really pushy, um... Like, especially right now, and throughout the trial, she really does steer the conversation in a certain direction. And, like, it could be seen as keeping people on track, but mainly for her own uh, benefit. Okay, next, three more people. We've got Himiko. Are you okay? Yeah, 
Yeah. This whole thing is sh shaking like a big old fly. <laughs> Himiko is scared, poor little thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this vibration is. <laughs> Quit looking at Himiko like some kind of degenerate male. It says you, Tenko. Oh god, that whole interaction is terrible. Uh, okay, Kibo. I did not calculate that we would gather here under these circumstances again. Oh, what would Kaede say if she saw us right now? Uh, well, I think she'd be jealous that she couldn't have been the one to attempt to murder another student, innocent student. Oh, Tenko. Or I mean, Kaede, I mean Tenko. <laughs> Himiko is not the culprit. No way, no how. I know Himiko better than anyone. I know all her secrets. I know her gender, her hair color, even her height. None of those are secrets. Well, well, some of those things could be <laughs> fake though. Like, I don't know, chapter two in Trigger Happy Havoc <laughs> can certainly testify to one of those. <laughs> okay, I need some more coins, even though I don't, uh, I think I'm going to be a couple levels short on getting the skill that I want to get. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, it's fine. Um, so I'll just get as much XP as I can. And some coins along the way. Okay, I think that's it. And we talked to everyone. So let's tap on our beautiful Monokuma statue. I still can't. <laughs> I like this whole animation. <laughs> it's, it's so extra. But, you know, <laughs> they up the quality so you can't complain. Oh, I honestly, yeah, I do. Per I think I said it before, but I preferred this over um, SDR2's kind of trawl ground opening. The door appeared before us with pomp, as if sending heroes off to war. After a pause, we all step towards the door. Oh, I like how they do like put each person in separately. We were silent. All I could hear was the sound of our intense, I'm sorry. We were silent. All I could hear was our unsteady breathing just as we passed through the door. Oh, and the doors close. Yeah, I almost like this more than the Trigger Happy Epic one. It started up again. Oh. oh. The, like, empty space in the middle. That's... Uh. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I just can't get over, yeah. Normally, I wouldn't mind the shaking. But I'm feeling especially sensitive to it now, and we don't get the special pep talk. Each of us felt that trembling through our entire bodies as we sank further still. Without sure footing, I'm positive I would have fallen as well. My breathing was becoming more ragged, my heart pounded harder and harder, just when I thought I would pass out from the nerves. The elevator came to a stop. But this wasn't the end, no. It was only just beginning. Oh, I really do like this trial, so I'm kind of a lot. I see a lot of people complain about how oh the trial grounds don't change every chapter in V3, but I I like this trial. I would rather have one really nice trial, and it does change in um chapter five and six, but I would rather have one really nice trial ground that fits the overall theme, and it fits all of the characters pretty well and all of the trials um, up to chapter 5 really, really well. Same with chapter 6. So I, I'm perfectly fine with having this trial. I would rather, yeah, <laughs> I would rather have this kind of nice trial ground than having a bunch of like jaggedy, um, like messed up, or not messed up, but like just uh, half-made trial grounds. Welcome, you've hopelessly arrived here once again. 
Hmm, did you want to come here again because of how wonderful it is? Isn't it wonderful? I put so much effort into building this place. It should be a monument. Aww. Actually, we're the ones who use the access laws to build this courtroom. But father just took all the credit. <laughs> but I am happy to be used as a slave <laughs> by father. You idiots are really committed to this henchman bit. You guys are just so cute, I can't help working you to the bone. <laughs> you put a lot of elaborate detail into this courtroom, almost like it's for a show. Oh, yeah? For a show, huh? That's an interesting way to put it. Yeah. Is this for a show? Are you showing this to the people outside and- Oh, yeah, she's oh, concerned. <laughs> Those people aren't with us, so you don't need to worry about them. Get it? They're not with us. As in, they're no longer with us, you know what I mean? I in other words, you 13 are the only ones left in the world. Now, show me how just how you intend to bargain for your lives. Ha 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 Then, the class trial began. Oh, we are Mahoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. After falling from his former glory, he told us he had no reason to live. But even so, he said he wanted to fight beside us, to get out of here with us. For that, he was trying to find a reason to live. He might have been a little stern, but he wasn't a cold man at all. And the person who killed him... ...is here right now. I want to believe that's a lie. I don't want to believe it at all. But... If this is where I find the truth, I won't avert my eyes anymore. This is the wish she entrusted to me. Oh, and she's in the middle. I will find the truth to get out of here with everyone alive. I'm going to survive. Oh, and he doesn't have a sign. I can't die here in order to keep my promise to her. I will fight. I will fight for my life in this trial of truth and lies. And yes, I will save, but that'll be where we leave off for this episode of New Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony Chapter 2. So yeah, I'll see you in the next episode where we go through all the truth bullets and stuff like that, and then we will start the trial, which I'm really excited about, because we finally get to do a whole trial with Shuichi. We've got some new mini games too, I'm pretty sure. So that'll be really exciting, and let me know in the comments about like what you thought of the entire investigation, as a whole, like, um, do you think it was fun? Do you like how you got to go to different places? Uh, what did you think of the murder in general? And yeah, so I'll see you all then. Bye!